Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today we will, we will be discussing on what do all assets and all bases have in common. So let me draw a setup for our reaction. Okay. So this is a acid solution here okay and there are two electrodes one is here one is here okay and this is the rubber coat and these two electrodes are connected to a let's say there is a bulb here and there is a battery here ok so this is a 6 volt battery this is a bulb and here is a switch on off switch and it is a beaker ok students now take solution of glucose alcohol hcl and sulfuric acid the solution can be of in the first case i have taken acid solution it can be of glucose alcohol hcl and h2so4 sulfuric acid okay and fix two nails this is the setup now pour some dilute HCl in the beaker and switch on the current. So what do you observe that the bulb starts blowing. Ok students blowing in the case of acids in the case of acids only because of presence of H plus ions so but you will observe that glucose and alcohol do not conduct electricity so glowing of the bulb indicates that there is a flow of electric current through the solution ok and the electric current is carried through the ions so which are present in so acids like HCl on passing of electricity gives H plus ions and Cl ions. Okay, since the H plus ions presence in the acids, this suggests that acid produce hydrogen ions, which are responsible for their acidic properties. So this is the test. We see that when do all acids and all bases have in common. Okay, repeat the same activity with alkalis like such as NaOH sodium hydroxide okay and calcium hydroxide CaOH2 but you can observe that the result of this activity is like there will be OH ions you will get in the when you pass the electricity so these ions will conduct the electricity in case of basis so this is what is common in all the acids and bases ok students so in the next lecture we will discuss about what happens to an acid or a base in a water solutions so and if you have still any doubt or any question based on this lecture that what is the common thing in between acids and bases ok so please do comment in the comment section if you have any doubt ok I will be happy to help you guys there Thank you students, happy learning.